Netflix series Making a Murderer has become a global hit since season 1 premiered in 2015, leading to filmmakers Laura Ricciardo and Moira Demos making a second outing, which dropped this year. The show's success has led several fans to ask, will there be a season 3 of Making a Murderer? Speaking at their stage show False Confessions, Brandon Dassey's lawyers Laura Neerider and Stephen Gerson revealed their future plans regarding the case. Will there be a Making a Murderer season 3? Question mark. Netflix is yet to announce if the hit true crime documentary will be returning to the streaming service for a third season. However, Brandon Dassey's post-conviction lawyers Laura Neerider and Steve Drizzen have revealed they plan to continue working on Brendan's case and their involvement is far from over. Speaking at their public conversation False Confessions in London, Express.co.uk heard from Neerider. Brendan is right now in the same position Stephen Avery was in at the end of season 1, in terms of his legal options. Someone in Brendan's position can go back to the court file a post-conviction petition, raising newly discovered evidence of innocence, or newly discovered evidence of constitutional violations, he's got plenty of avenues still open to him. There's plenty of time left. When asked if either of the pair would give up the case, both Neerider and Gerson answered in unison, No. Making a murderer, is Stephen Avery still in jail? Dassey's lawyers also suggested there were still a number of ways that 29-year-old could finally be released from prison after several appeals to the courts. The governor of Wisconsin, the state in which Dassey is incarcerated, was replaced during the recent midterm elections in the USA. Neerider explained, the governor of the state of Wisconsin has the ability to wipe any condition away and release Brendan from prison. Drizzen added to the optimism, saying, that was a great day, it was a great day for the people of Wisconsin, it was a great day for union workers, it was a great day for public services workers, it was a great day for the environment, it was a great day for the Supreme Court, it was a great day, Scott Walker, the former governor of Wisconsin, had, publicly come out and said I'm not going to give a pardon to Brennan Dassey, I'm not going to give a pardon to Stephen Avery, I don't believe in pardons but he's gone, we don't know what the new governor of Wisconsin is going to be like, but he's got to be better than Scott Walker, so we're anxiously waiting for him to take office, and getting to know him and see how he operates. Who is Kathleen Zellner? Who may appear in Making a Murderer Season 3? Question mark If a third season were to be greenlit, it's highly likely both Drizzen and Neerider would appear on the series following their adamants to continue working with Dassey. Dassey is almost a certainty to also appear, as well as his uncle Stephen Avery, who is also incarcerated under a first-degree murder conviction. Avery's lawyer Kathleen Zellner still remains a big name in the case after Making a Murderer Season 2. Zellner regularly updates her 614k Twitter followers with details of Avery's case and her work with him. Her appearance is almost guaranteed should a third season be commissioned. How many episodes are in Making a Murderer Season 2? Question mark. What might happen in Making a Murderer Season 3? Question mark. The futures of the prisoners remains unclear with both of their legal teams working hard behind the scenes in the hopes of freeing their clients. Both Dassey and Avery remain incarcerated, and it is likely season 3 would continue to follow their quest for freedom. The documentary series often features interviews with law enforcement, family members, lawyers, and experts, a narrative which would probably continue in the third season, making a murderer seasons 1 and 2 are available to stream now on Netflix.